I'm a direct descendant of my great-great-great-grandfather, Barney Warrior, who lived on this land. And we lived here on this land for a very long time before settlement. But then after settlement, we were taken off. When I look at this country, it makes me feel like I'm home because that's what this land does for me. It gives me the connection. It gives me the link to my spiritual place. This connection to country means a lot. It's about bringing our young people back so that they can learn our cultural stories, song lines, and reviving our cultural heritage that's here in the landscape today. We're here in the Hallelujah Hills of South Australia uh, in a place called World's End Gorge. It's on the lands of the Nadjeri Nation uh, and it's right on the historic Goiters Line. Goiters South Wind Farm, it's a large wind farm here about two hours north of Adelaide. It comprises around 75 wind turbines, so it's one of the largest projects in South Australia. We've had an immense level of community support. We've tried to repay that trust with some really innovative methods of sharing benefits with the local community. The gorge encompasses about a thousand hectares of country. It's a very rare and beautiful place. David and Joe Gebhardt have owned this land for decades and they kindly allowed Neon to acquire it with funding provided by the Native Vegetation Offset Program associated with our Goida South wind farm. We're now gifting the gorge uh, to the South Australian government to hold and protect in perpetuity. And they will combine it with the neighbouring Hopkins Creek Conservation Park. Together, that will form a new national park. Well, our family uh, came out here about five or six generations ago in the mid-1800s. And in 1982, my father purchased this property and we've been here for about 40 odd years. We've had several people over the years come to us and say, wow, this is a hidden treasure. Everyone has always loved coming to this spot. Every birthday would come out and enjoy by the water hole that we called the birthday pool. So yeah, good memories. David and I have recognised that this area of land is, its value is really in recreation and conservation rather than stock grazing. For Indigenous and non-Indigenous Australians, this is a very significant and beautiful spot that we want the local community uh, and tourists alike to enjoy. It is a sort of a legacy and something that will hopefully go on for generations. What we see here in, say, five or a ten year time frame will be a beautiful value add to the work that we're doing on our World Heritage Bids. From an international tourist point of view, they will be able to come and see Heritage Adelaide, they can come to the Mid-North, and then they can come to the edge of the outback and experience this beautiful area you've got out here. I think it's a hidden gem. This is a first for us to work really closely with a big commercial operation. With neo -N, renewable energy is the way of the future. It's the first national park into the Mid-North. That will bring benefits not only from conservation, but also for the, the local economy and tourism. It's very exciting for us to be able to go down the co-management path right from the word go. We are going to establish two new ranger positions. One of those ranges will be an Aboriginal ranger. We'll also work very closely with Nudgery, the traditional owners, around how to best manage this park and how to best enable Nudgery to reconnect with this country. Working with the parks, it's strengthening that agreement and our partnership together so that we can have a bit more say in what will happen on country. That's what we hope for, Nudgery Nations hope for, that we can share that responsibility together with the landowners, with NEON, with the parks, that we work in partnership with each other to open up this area. Beyond the permanent water which we have here, this is a really interesting part of the world. Um, in the mid-north, we're in a transition zone between the temperate area to the south of us and the arid zone to the north of us. And so we get a really unique mix of species here that diversity is just really interesting and really important for us to be able to manage and improve over time. The creek here is really good habitat for hollow nesting birds um, with your big gum trees. A lot of these are hundreds of years old, um, have really nice hollows. Being able to, to continue to preserve those into the future is really important, but also we have 
a couple of reptile species in this area. So we have pygmy blue tongue lizards and the Flinders Ranges worm lizard, and they're both threatened nationally. What we've seen here is a really unique collaboration between Neowin and conservation authorities. That's a natural synergy for me. Renewables are, of course, designed to protect the planet on a global level. I think this place will outlive all of us. It will outlive our project, our company, and it will still be here hundreds of years from now.